Hello and welcome comrades to a very special episode where today everyone I'm going to be starting a let's play with Victoria 2 the Kaiserak mod. So everyone, um, a couple months, this, I had to tell a little story because this is a story that kind of relates to why I'm playing it today and I think it's very important that I tell this story today. So a couple months ago I was just kind of browsing through my channel, I think it was one of my previous let's plays and basically... And there was this comment that some you but that some subscriber told me and he was like, Hey dude, you should totally play the Kaiserak mod. I heard it's really, really awesome and you should play it. And I kinda look at him kinda weirdly in in my own little view and was like, Huh. Uh okay, you know I kinda did I, I said very kindly, I did a series of Kaiserak before, but you know, just look through my plays and you'll find it. And then he's like no, 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 man. There's actually a, a Victoria 2 mod for Kaiser Egg, and it's really awesome, and you should play it. And I'm like, okay, let's try this. And so I booted up, tried it out, and it's it's pretty good. I, I'll deny it. Well, that's pretty good. I'm like, okay, I could probably make a Let's Play of this and, you know, play it up until a certain point, maybe give some constructive criticism to the mod so it can help improve it better and, and enhance the experience. And then I ran into the big problem, which basically made it so I could not play it, which is basically the fact that for some odd and strange reason, reason, this does not work with fraps very well. Like, I don't know why, but this mod, for some reason, would not work on my computer, would not work with fraps, would not work with almost anything. I mean, I tried for like, I think it was like a solid week or two trying to get this mod to work with fraps. It did not work, and eventually I just gave up and, well, kind of forgot about it. Then a couple weeks ago, when I was doing another series, I was like, huh, you know, I still like playing the Kaiserak mod, so why don't we try playing the Kaiserak mod again? And so I boot up my old Darkest Hour game of Kaiserak, and this is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard, but because I have a more advanced computer now, I actually cannot record the old Kaiserak, because apparently my computer only runs at a minimum of 32-bit coloring system, and the game requires it to go into window mode, which I'm assuming is the problem. The reason why there's a big gigantic problem in my system is because it always goes in full screen. It won't go into window mode because it's 16-bit. So, I literally can't record the game anymore, which makes me so mad because... Oh man, I wanted to do, I seriously wanted to do like a Chinese series with that, or maybe like a, you know, Britain or United States of A. Maybe did it be the CSA or the USA? You know, one of those two. Those would have been really cool nature to be. But, suffice to say, I couldn't do it. And then, that subscriber did not give up because apparently I forgot, I had completely forgotten about this and reminded me very kindly that, yes, you should play this mod and, yes, you should do this mod very carefully because if you want to play Kaiserak, this is the next best thing. And, you know what? I, I agree. This is the next best thing. So, I basically went through hoops and hurdles, getting this thing ready, and finally, I got it working. We got it working, we got the Kaiserak mod working, and I'm so happy. Okay, that was all the prelude to the actual story of today's Let's Play, and now we're actually getting to the real story, where today's nation I'm going to be playing as is the Soviet Union. Well, it should really be the, um, the White Union, but... As I said, yeah, this is really what should be controlling Russia right now. But as I said, I will not be, I'll try not to criticize. Oh, wait, 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 whoops. <laughs> wait, wait, I was about to say, I was about to say 1836, that's not the right one. Well, criticize the wrong word. I mean, voice my undetermined opinion, because I'm one of those people that kind of, I really love the world of Kaiserak, so I went back and actually read through all those, like, little summary files and everything, and, oh, man. yeah, I'm a kind of a nerd like that. So, yeah, I'm going to try to be... I'm going to try to say my opinions that I actually think are actual opinions. Wow, well, I should... Oh, wow, that was really quick. <laughs> Usually it takes a lot longer than that, but... I'll try to say my opinions, the ones that I believe that actually are really good constructive criticisms out loud, and I'll try to keep my um, inner nitpicking self, my inner snob, at bay, okay? Okay, so anyways, we are in today's Kaiserak mod where, as you can see, the world is vastly different. We are in 1921, and... For those of you who do not know the Kaiserreich mod, the basic premise is, is that World War II was won by the Germans. And we see right well, there. We see radical changes with everyone and the whole entire world is completely different and many things are going to be happening that we either have to take advantage of or do nothing about. The first thing I think we're going to do is do some calibration. First of all, don't do that. 
Um, we have the Bolsheviks in power, which means we are completely commies. Uh, we can enact a five-year plan, which is not as bad as the other five-year plan we tried. <laughs> I think this five-year plan is a little bit better than the one in Popular in Darkness, but that's just me. Um, the thing we have to quickly start doing, you know, immediately is that the Mighty Russians is that we have a completely low literacy rate and we have completely low, like, well, mostly everything. So we have to kind of improve that by a lot. And wow, we have pretty good starting out technologically advancements. And by the way, this is the first time I've played the Soviet Union. So I don't quite know, like, the all the ins and outs of this nation. But then again, that's what kind of makes this game fun is kind of the unknowingty of what you're supposed to do. And besides, I'm a pretty experienced player, so I'm pretty sure I can get most of what's going to happen. So, anyways, I'm going to start with the typical strategy of encouraging clergymen in our country. And let's go, let's go, let's see. Actually, I should do in the most populous regions first, and then start moving down to the lower, the lower regions, as I should say. All right, yeah, let's get the uh, Tavir region. There we go. All right, every single region of those is being. Ooh, nicely dealt with and we are at war with the whites okay so this is the first starting event I expected this to happen because as you guys know because quick history lesson here for all you people who don't actually read history and just play historical games based off of history yeah that sounds like a conundrum right there um basically the Soviet Union the Bolsheviks were trying to take power in the October Rev no it was a February it was one of the it was either the October Revolution or the or the or the February February Revolution it was one of those two and the Bolsheviks and the whites are basically fighting right now and it's basically gonna sum up to who's gonna control Russia in the end right now it's a I'm guessing a causes Belai war conquest conquest I guess that and um, most likely the whites are more powerful in this because they have oh the Soviet Union today yeah yeah because Bad events will happen to the Soviet Union as we're still kind of weak. I mean, we're not yet uber powerful to the point where we could just go crush anyone. We're still trying to deal with stuff. And we also have taxes at actually good levels. Considering we're communists, that's actually pretty good levels. Okay, uh, the first thing we're going to have to start doing is... We're going to have to start building up some infantry. Uh, right now we can't actually build any like um, regular combined forces yet because I assume... I assume we're going to have to use something special. Well, I shouldn't assume I actually know what we have to get. But still, we're going to build up some infantry, get some guards in, get some tanks in. Because tanks are, as we all know, the key to this game. And we'll move in from there. Oh, the music. What? Great War? Oh. I thought it was like saying we got a Great War so quickly. I was like, really? This is all it takes to spark a Great War? Is just like... Oh, wow. Huh. Great War's going to be easy in this game. <laughs> okay. But anyways, I'm sending my troops to go defeat the white... The red... Eh, the white Russians. And we're going to go see what we're going to do after that. Probably most likely conquer the world, but... Eh. It's kind of like a 50-50 ball game. Let's see. Alright, and I want to make sure that we're putting all of our new troops in Moscow. Is Moscow our capital? Is it still St. Peter's? No, it's Moscow. Good. Okay. Uh, group up all men right there because I don't really want to have them all spread out and, you know, get stack wiped. And let's go back over here to this war with the whites who haven't really moved an inch, which is kind of scaring me. That either means they might be picking up allies. Which, speaking of which, I should probably start picking up my allies, which are between the fascist dictatorship of France and Great Britain. Pick your poison. Because I know I'm going to be fighting the Germans. The Germans have a lot of my land over here. And I want all this back. Ukraine. Belarus. Well, it's not called Belarus. It's called Kaiser Link Deutschland Wistland Kanzler. Germans. My German viewers. Please try to pronounce that. Because I can't. I'm American. This is really hard. <laughs> and then Kaiser Deutschland. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry I butchered that. Maybe, again, in the comments, please tell me how to actually pronounce that, but I really don't know. So, but we have to form an alliance with one of these two because these two, in proper Kaiserak fashion, these two are going to be at each other's heads in a couple years. And we need to make sure that when, when they're at each other's heads, 
we're in the middle of it fighting against the Germans to reconquer all of our land. Not just to reconquer all of our land, but also to expand our land maybe all the way to, you know, all of Europe. I mean, potentially I could do a lot of different wars. Like, I'm thinking a winter war would be nice to get a quick conquest in. Um, you know, total annexation. <laughs> total annexation. Yeah. Uh, don't quite know the difference between that and, um... And, uh, install communism. Okay, install communism is probably going to be one of my best bets if I want to start preaching my word and start, like, doing massive things. I think also puppeteering in this game would be quite useful. Okay, and let's see. My troops are slowly moving across the border. You know, I could... I don't see any of the troops, like, attacking me. The Roaring Twenties! The end of the... The war has caused a massive exodus from Europe to America, and our economy could have been better. New GDP figures show an era of exponential growth. Welcome to the Roaring Twenties. Oh, just wait for the 30s, United States. You'll love it. It'll like be even better with twice the amount of people homeless. Oh, that's a terrible joke. Okay, so anyways, let's see. Russia, you guys are going to be trying to attack me. I knew you guys would attack me. I'm just waiting... I can't do anything until my rest of my troops arrive, which are taking a long, long time. But once they arrive, we're all gonna group up, go defeat this uh, Russian army right here. Do I have any generals? No, I don't have any generals. It's the beginning of the game, of course I wouldn't. I didn't even check on my industry. Ooh, we have a tank factory. Yes, keep that alive. Always keep, future reference people, always keep your tank factories alive. They are the crucial, they are the future to your industry. At least to your military industry. So keep them alive. Keep them alive. Okay. Let's see. My troops are about to arrive. Long live the Soviet Union! Ya! Yeah. Totally agree with that. Actually, it's not ya. Yeah, it's da. Da. There we go. Okay. Let's see. My troops are almost there. We're about to go attack the whites. Uh, they'll probably get maybe one, possibly two more provinces. But after that, I'll be able to engage them and kill them. Because I have way more troops. Oh man, we got the good so we got the good pack right here. We got the good song bag. Oh man, I, this guy did a good job about including the good music in here. I love it already. And let's see, we got and a good okayish economy. Probably should start increasing education. To Seventy. Uh, get administrative all the way up to hundred because we need to make sure that we are have complete and utter control of our realm. Especially due to the fact that we are in kind of a revolution right now. It's good to kind of control whatever land we do have. And let's see, Ooh, 51 versus 27, pretty sure I'm going to beat them pretty badly. And if they try to do anything, 20, wow, they're losing a ton of troops. Demand concession against the Republic of China, ooh. That's not good, China. You're not strong enough yet to fight them. So hopefully you guys will decline and just let the Germans take this region, because otherwise you guys aren't strong enough. Um, let's see, is there any, any difference yet? British Raj, France, Germany, all these guys. There's all, oh man, there's already an Italian, Austrian, Hungary war. Um, man, between these two states, I honestly don't know who would win. Let's see, militaristically, Italy seems to have the advantage, but then again, look how many allies they're dealing with. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see who wins this, we'll see who who ultimately wins the uh, love of Venice and gets to be crowned the uh, the Venetian king. We'll see guys, we'll see. Alright, it seems like the whites are retreating more and more into different territory which is annoying me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a trap up for them because I don't want to keep doing this. Okay, divide up my army, send in half of it now, and if they try to escape anywhere I'm going to kill them. Okay, wait for my half of my army to already be halfway there. Okay, now go send the rest in. They should not be able to escape. Yes, they can escape, which means I'll be able to go hit my other army, which is going to get there in time, and now they're squished. There we go. Okay, everyone, send my entire army in. Go crush these guys. And do the whites have any more troops? No, they do not. And I should have a backup army here somewhere. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, I have 36k troops. Go send them into the war zone. Yes, the war zone. And let's see, the third Afghan agro war. Let's see, what do you, Afghan is released from the Raj. Uh, the Raj is under control. 
Uh, China's restoration of a gun's eye. Okay. So it seems like most of the wars are happening with, you know, little minor powers. No big, big, gigantic war has broken out yet. The Republic of China is trying to fight for its independence. Well, not for its independence. It's trying to fight for its right to rule its own land. And the upper house has been arranged. Communism has strangely taken a hit. What the heck? I have more social... I have more fascists right now in my country than I do socialists. What the heck? This is not good. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go... To, let me go destroy these whites army. Yeah, there we go. Long live the Soviet Union! Da! Okay. Let's see. Alright. They're moving down more. Let me just siege up this land because, honestly, this will be much quicker. Um, send up half the men to go half the way because at this point we don't want to group up any of our soldiers because if our soldiers are grouped up, we could suffer the massive attrition that those guys did and stupidly killed off half their troops. We want to make sure our soldiers are kind of spread out and kind of neatly packed. Because as I say, the Serbian winter is worse than, the, than like, <laughs> anything on Earth. So we want to make sure that we're well prepared to fight our own brethren in our own land. The problem is, is that this thing happens and I'm like, shoot. There we go. Good. Okay. Let's just keep our soldiers right there. Where are my 33? Okay, there's my 36 death stack. And my tanks aren't being made. Why? I do have a tank factory. That should be producing me what I want. Hmm. That's kind of annoying that I'm not even going to deny to you people. That's kind of annoying. I can't really do much about it because, like, that's just what happens. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Guess we're just going to have to fight without tanks, people. <laughs> I don't like it, but we're just going to have to fight without tanks. And, yeah, it just, we don't have enough built up. The, the, Stalin, everyone, Stalin! Lawrence Vince Stalin was born in Georgia in 1878 to the middle class family and rose to prominence in Russia politics post the 1917 revolution before coinciding his position where in 1922 Vladimir Lenin died. Many have optimism for our new general secretary while many are skeptical. The question is, who is right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> who's right? Me, Stalin. Yeah. Okay. So everyone, Stalin right now is leading us to our glorious victory against the world. And, quite frankly, quite frankly, I'm not even going to voice, I'm not even going to voice if that's a good or, a good or bad thing. Because I honestly don't know yet either. <laughs> I honestly don't know. But we're going to see. We're all going to see this together. Together, everyone. Because that's what it's all about. Camaraderie and camaraderie. Okay, now let's divide up you guys, go send half the troops up here, go start sieging up all this land over here. Let's see, the capital of my breakaway state is where? Um, hmm. Where's the capital? Oh my goodness, it's all the way back, tucked to here? Oh my goodness, how'd you guys? Huh, you know... For a game that doesn't really pride itself in creating clever capitals, that's actually a really good place to put it, because a player can't get to that unless they, like, get military access, but I'm pretty sure Japanese hate me, so I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen. So, I basically had to fight through almost all of Siberia before I actually get there. While, if we were going reverse, I guess they would have to fight through all of Mother Russia to get to me, but... That kinda seems a little bit easier. Huh. I don't know. Let's see, let's go send you guys in there. Oh, yes! Limited access roads, that's good. We have better roads. Synthetic polymers, yes, we will get that. We are sieging up the lower half. And the music, man. The music. Alright, let's see, go down here. We just won the battle. Let's see. The Russians are retreating to the only place I don't have occupied. Wow. Retreat! Everyone attack! Attack them with all your might! With all our red sickle might! Yeah! Teach those teach those Russian whites what you're dealing with. Also, alliance with France? Oh man, I'd be crazy not to do it. Okay, let's see. And let's see, Chickahai. Let's see, I'm going to move you guys. Divide the troops. I said divide. Divide. That, that means balance, divide. There we go. And move there. Yes, okay. 
Got a pretty good front setup for everything. And everyone, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been the first end to our new episode, and I hope you guys like my new ringtone. It's probably going to be what I use from now on. And because the old one was kind of getting a uh, couple of you guys voiced your discomfort to the old ringtone. And so I kind of changed it up. This scene, it's a little bit nicer, a little bit quieter. But I think it still gets the point across of when I have to end it. So I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been another great episode. And hope you guys stick around to watch this series. Support it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.